Hold up. Who's this? That's Elena's little brother. You are a Gilbert, and you've been exposed to this town's darkest secret, and with that comes responsibility. Now, Thursday is the final episode. We're saying goodbye to Jeremy. What can you tease for all the fans out there? It's a lot of of, of saying goodbye, pretty much. It's, uh, it's sweet. We, I got scenes with pretty much everybody in this last episode, and... Uh, and it's all it's all very sweet. Jeremy, Jeremy's been through so much, you know. He started, you know, this this little drug addict and uh, became a vampire hunter. Lost pretty much everyone that he loved except for his sister. Although I guess she died at some yeah. point. <laughs> Why does everybody have to die on me? I think he's a big a character that's been through so much that he's just he needs he needs a break. You deserve a normal life, Jer. Time to get the hell out of here. Would you ever be open to coming back to Mystic Falls? Because I know everyone would love to have you. Are you kidding me? I would love to see everyone again. And whenever they invite me, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to be there and, and, and come hang out with everybody. Now that you are not going to be on the Vampire Diaries, you can finally spill on your cast members. Uh, okay, yeah, that's and, right. And reveal some secrets. Which cast member is most likely to mess up their lines? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know. Everyone, you know what? Everyone's a consummate professional, and that's it. And never messes up any lines. Who is most likely to break out into song or dance in the middle of a late night shoot? It's probably Nina. Nina, you met Nina will randomly be uh, dancing. Who is the biggest prankster? That might be me. Uh, you know, just doing stupid little things here and there. Who on your cast would make the best vampire in real life? Uh, let's say Ian. Okay? Yeah. He's, he's, he seems vampire-esque. And how about the best vampire hunter? Oh, it's me, me. I hate to be self-indulgent, but you know, hey. I know what you are. Let's kill a vampire. Considering the fact that I think he's not even 19 right now, Jeremy, he's had some really good loves, some great loves of his life. I blame puberty. You know, it's all the hormones. It's driving kids crazy. Now, which relationship do you look most back on as one that kind of shaped Jeremy? I think because it's the most recent and it's because it's the person that he loves, I would say Bonnie and Jeremy. But, you know, then again, the, the Anna storyline was fun. And Vicky, of course, was fun. But right now, I would say the most important to Jeremy would be, would be Bonnie. Why didn't Bonnie come back? She's in a better place. Ah, I'm ready to move on.